Here we are with the last lesson for unit 11. We're going to talk about exponential and logarithmic regression. Our objective is that you will be able to use the calculator to write these logarithmic and exponential functions. So first thing first, exponential function is typically used on a phenomenal whose growth accelerate, meaning it increases over time while a logarithmic regression is mostly used for phenomena that grow quick and quickly and first then slow over time so we have the population in jtown jamestown which um, has been recorded for years in 2000 the table here show your regression question 1 says using the calculator determine the exponential growth in the form y equals a times b to the x where x is the number of years since 2000 so on your calculator what we're gonna do now we're gonna be go to spreadsheets and then we're gonna list it but instead of listing the year as 2002 remember it says the years since 2000 so from 2000 to 2002 that's actually two years 2000 to 2004 is four years and so on and you're gonna just list those you're gonna come on the B and enter those number five five six four six one two one sixty three hundred and I'm just taking these number from under population and the last one is seven four two two now that you have this, remember how I showed you earlier to do statistics? So we're going to go to Menu, Statistics, Stat Calculation. Oops, I did that too fast. Menu, Statistics, Stat Calculation. And I want to do a exponential regression, choice letter A. I click on that. My X list is in A, and then my Y list is actually in B, so we have to fix that. And then I want to tell the, the, the calculator to put my answer in column C. And you hit OK. Notice here, it tells you exponential regression. This is the form that they asked me for. And remember, they said round it to the nearest 1,000. Okay, so that's three decimal places. So if I was to come back here, round those answers that I just did, I would get y is equal to 5158 because it says round a to the nearest integer and then b is 1.041 to the x power so I'm rounding this to the nearest whole number and then I'm rounding this to the nearest thousands now that you have this the question say take that and go ahead and graph it so I'm gonna do a quick sketch I want you to make sure you understand how to graph this. Um, let's do some criteria here. Let's make this 50,000. And let's make this 50 years. And then you will see a graph that actually looks something. At this point, it's starting at 5158. And it goes up and it stops right here. And the point that it stops is 50 comma 38,461 and that's the stop maybe I should stop a little below here just to be a little precise okay so I want you to do that now it says by what percent does the exponential model predict the population so remember when we talked about exponential function and it's always going to be one plus whatever percentage so looking at this this model predicts that the population is going to be increased by four point one percent per year and based off of this remember our exponential function is actually model as where I have some number I don't know I can call it Q it doesn't matter and it's always one plus the percent raised to the time so in this case my percent here represents 0 0.041 remember I take the one out and this in terms which if I multiply by a hundred is actually four point one percent okay 
Now the last one said algebraically, meaning solve it out by hand. Determine the number of years to the nearest year, so that's the nearest whole number, for the population to reach 20,000. So using my formula I found, I want this to be, let's make, this is the formula I found. I want to know what is x when it's going to reach 20,000. So again, let's solve this out. So this becomes 1.041 to the x. I want to get rid of that. So I'll divide it by, divide the 20,000 by the 5158. Now because of this here, because of the exponent, I want to do the, let's just take this out so I can get some space. I need to solve for x. x is in the exponent, so I'm going to do the log of 1.041 to the x power is equal to the log of 20,000 over 5158. Now I'm going to use the power rule. Let's see if I have some space here. I am going to use the power rule. This becomes x log of 1.041 and I'm bringing all of this down 20,000 5158. Now I want x by itself and then I will divide both sides by the log of 5158 and it's going to be divided by the log of 1.0 4, 1. And if you work this out in your calculator, you will get x to be approximately 34 years. And why? Because it says rounded to the nearest year. So again, because this is in the, remember, exponent, the inverse of that is the log function. So looking at this, which line of best fit represents an exponential equation? Look at this. This is actually going down. We have something that looks like this, and we have something that looks like this, and then this is more of a straight line. So which one do you think would represent an exponential equation? Of course, you know the answer already, choice three. This is more of like a linear, linear, and this is does not look like an exponential going down. Okay, remember the other way, this is an increasing exponential function. Now, really quick. Let's look at the log regression model. It says it's most applicable when it grows fast and then it slow down over a period of time. So I would want to do the same exact thing. It says a corn plant will grow rapidly after the first emerges from the soil and then eventually slows its growth rate. And I want to find what we just did. Find the logarithmic equation meaning it's in this form where x is the days and y is the height round both of them to the nearest whole number so I'm gonna come back over here I wanna clear this document close this out do not save it and I'm gonna go back to my spreadsheet and I'm gonna enter these 8 14 22 40 48 54 and I am going to go ahead and enter these four 18 48 60 70 oops, 60 71 and 73 now go back menu statistics calculation and I'm looking for logarithm logarithmic regression B my B, remember my Y list is in B, and tell the calculator, put my answer in C. Change that, hit OK. The first thing you want to check, is this the form that they asked me for? Of course, it says A plus B, ln of X. And I got to run these to the nearest whole number. So negative 74.3, that's actually negative 74, and then my B will be rounded to 37. So, my actual equation that I have is actually y equals negative 74 plus 
37 ln of x. And doing this on a calculator, look what it says. It has to be between, let's just make up some numbers. You're going to do a better graph than me. This is actually negative 10. Uh, we can do 100, and this we want to go from 0 to 100. Okay, so when you graph this, you're going to see something that looks similar like this with the line going up, arrows. C says, the corn will develop tassels when it reaches a height of 4 feet. To the nearest day, use the model to predict when the corn will be 4 feet. Now, you have to think about this. What is 4 feet? in terms of what? So look at the measurements. The measurements was given in inches, okay? And here, inches. So they're asking me now for feet. So four feet is actually 48 inches, okay? So that's the first thing that we needed to do. So we had to take my equation, and I want to know when is this equal to 48. And again, I'm not putting four. 48 is because it's 4 times what? 4 times 12. They're, they're 12 inches in 1 feet. Okay? And this data was given in inches. Now, if I go ahead and solve this, what am I going to get? So, at 74 on both sides, I get 37 ln of x is equal to 122. Divide both sides by 37 because my goal is to get that by itself then I want to solve for X so just like we did now we're doing the inverse so it's E yes I want to get the inverse so it's going to be E to the X is equal to E to the 122 over 37 so these are inverses of each other in our previous lessons and if you do this out e to the 122 over 37 is approximately 27 days so from here to here they're inverses of each other so it's like e to the ln of x this is cancel you're left with that okay according to your model on what day did the current germinate when did it germinate it germinate when this equation is equal to zero Excellent. So now what am I going to get? 37 ln of x is equal to 74. ln of x is equal to 74 over 37. Oops. Hey. And then I have e to the x is e to the 34 over 37, which is approximately 7 days. Okay, so a lot of this is just practicing in the calculator. Now, look at this, which of the following is the best scatter plot. This looks like something going up. This is something coming this way. Kind of got something like that. And if I was to draw a line here, which one of those this best represents a logarithmic equation? And that will be choice four. All right, a lot of this lesson was pretty simple, but you had to be able to use your calculator, okay? So let me know if you have any questions about this calculator. This can help you a lot on the regions, okay? Good luck.